part of the countertop from on the left side of the sink all the way around here to the refrigerator. About every month, you're supposed to treat your butcher block countertops. And I use something called Howard cutting board oil. It's really easy to do, but the first step is to clear off your counter, which I've already done. Then it is just to wipe your counter down with water um, and a rag, just making sure that you get all of the debris off. You just want it clean. And then you need to let it dry. So I cleaned it off about an hour ago and just left it. And now it's time to put on the oil. So what I'm going to use is a rag that I plan on throwing away. I'm not going to wash all the oil off of a rag, one of my t-shirt rags, my t-shirt rag. And I am going to just lay the oil on. You can always use more if you need more, but you wanna start with just a little swirl. wiping the oil onto the counter with the grain. You can see that it looks like it's shiny in some parts and not quite so shiny in other parts. That's okay, you just keep wiping it down. I can see there's parts of my backsplash I really need to wash. And also, I should have treated this countertop quite a long time ago. There are water stains on it. I see some right here. And then we always put our Brita pitcher right here. Something with little rubber feet has been dragging along the counter and leaving marks on it. So you want to do it before I did. show you the sink, the sink area, and as you can tell, I haven't done the dishes yet or cleaned up my sink. So for around the sink, since it's so small, I'm going to put some oil on my rag, which is still a bit oily. This is a small area. Rubbing it in along with the grain. This area probably needs to be done the most. I can tell the caulking in the back of the backsplash has come off a bit. That's no bad.
do it one more time. side of my rag now. This side did get a bit dirty. Apparently I didn't clean everything perfectly. But we know none of us are perfect. I always tell my kids, nobody's perfect. That's why we need Jesus. So, do it again. It looks a little smoother this time, a little shinier. dry completely empty without putting anything on it for about 12 hours it does take a little maintenance but they're really pretty and hopefully this is what I tell myself you know as the years go by all these weird little things that you end up seeing in them will give it character and just make it all that much more charming all right, well, if you like videos about doing weird things around the house with me, stick around. Subscribe to Living the Leech Life and you'll find videos about projects, videos about cleaning, videos about laundry, and then every once in a while we just throw in a video about something that we have done during the day, a trip, who knows what you'll find on there. So please subscribe, like this video, Comment below, what are your countertops like? What do you do to maintain them? Door cleaning tips for things, maybe you have a better way to do this. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.